Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Shopkeep. So what's going on today? Well, there was kind of like an update. It was more of a fix to fix kind of like a save issue, I guess. I guess there's some bugs introduced in the last kind of major update that happened. So let us kind of do a quick look through this and see what's going on. So this just shows you all the stuff that happened. So we've had 32 guys run away, and we've sold <laughs> tons of items. So the reality is we probably don't even need to worry about the thieves. We probably don't even need to kill them, but I don't mind doing that because that would be fun. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at the right here customer browser. So I guess as they buy stuff, they fill up here, right? And so you'll see that a lot of these people, oh, this doesn't have anything, doesn't, but then other people have items and stuff. So it makes you wonder if these your characters will then adventure and come back and you deal with your business again. A very interesting game. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, so let's go my shop. So this is the shop that we have. And we're stuck on that day four, if you remember. We completed it and went to the end and then it, it kind of hung and then I, I crashed out of it came back and yeah unfortunately yeah so let's just delete this save bang oh do you know look at this I clicked on it to go but I can't delete the save isn't that funny huh let's go quit Okay, let's go options. I can reset my progress, and I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, no, I don't want to click on it. I want to delete the save. Crap. Okay, and look at this. Where's my money? Why do I only have 60 bucks? Um, oh, there we go. There we go. So it did delete. That's interesting. Huh, I guess it just doesn't update here. I guess I should have clicked in and out. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look here. Let's see what we have going on. So this is all blank. We got 60 bucks to our name. Um, damage 1 to 2 hit points. We're letting the barrier recharge. Now we're playing a whole new store, so hopefully this will play some dis uh, displays. So what do we want to display? We want to sell potions, right? Um, so let's see what we can order. So what we want to place then, I guess, is... Hmm. Let's see here, we got tables, we got hat racks, counters, armor racks, boat, bot dock. So we will place a shelf. How uh, about then we can only buy one potion? This we can sell. Okay, so let's try this. Let's try this. So we're gonna put them. Um, see, we can't put it too close to the the door. That's interesting. Okay, well maybe what we can do is place one. I wish we could move this stuff. So maybe what we can do is place one here. And let's see, place one right here in this corner. Let's twist this around. Perfect, okay. Now we can order some potions. Let's go one, two, three, four. And do one more mana potion for luck. Place order. Let us. Um, one. Let's see here. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, now, uh, now we need to increase to 250%. Okay, now let's see how these quests work, right? So if we hit escape, is it escape? Um, or Q, Q to get into this screen. Let's check out skills. Okay, we got all the same skills. We actually have some points to burn. Uh, 30 more percent interested. We'll now buy an additional item given 
that they like or find what they like. Reduce order, arrival time. Can we unlock any skill? Do we have to unlock these skills? Or do I already have these skills unlocked? I think I have them unlocked already. I think we have this whole row. Huh. I think I have those ones as well. So basically these are the last two things to get and then we're good to rock and roll. Let's see here, one moment. You have this stupid cat bothering me. Like I tell ya, really? Okay, let's get back to this. So let us place. Um, shoot, I should have bought more stands. <laughs> oh well, oh well. Place one of these boys and one of these. I want to check the quests. Skills. Uh, statistics. Here we go. Uh, any potion quests? So I can't do any of these guys. So I don't have... Okay, so we just ignore it. Let's open up the shop. Hello, hello, sirs. Hello, sirs. Welcome, peoples. Welcome. Welcome to a day, a day in this game. So suppose you can fall through the, the ground. So let's see how... Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's run back inside here. So we're not going to worry about people stealing stuff this time around. Maybe. <laughs> And I want to open up this stuff as soon as possible. So we basically need 10,000 and 10,000 as soon as possible. We're, we're not going to block these areas here because now we know that there's an opening behind this. We're going to try and keep to the walls that don't get removed. And then we'll just wait for the next Joe Schmo and interest fee. That's probably somebody walking through the door. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Let's put another potion up. Yeah, we're going to be rich in no time, folks. Let's go. So press shift. And, so shift F. Um, let's give him... Oh, wow. That actually takes a lot of... Shift F. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's how you do it. Ah, another person. Welcome, welcome, sir. Come and buy some potions here from Charlotte Moore's potion shop. Woo! <laughs> uh, we need to hurry, place. There you go, sir. Oh, hey, you can talk. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Huh. That is so cool. So let us order some more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, oh, we need a robot eventually. Let's pick this up. We got health potions. There we go. So we got to clean up. Man, it sucks having to start all over. <laughs> ah, yeah, what the beep? You freaking picked it up and dropped it, bro. Let's pick this up. Just place it down. Clean up. Yeah, come on, peoples. Pay me, pay me to enter my wonderful shop of, of potions. So then the next order of business, I think, is to order the... Uh, what is it called? Those uh, racks, those, those shelves. Uh, whatever they're called. <laughs> uh, that's what we need to do. Okay, let's make sure all the dirt's cleaned up and then basically this is what the first part of the game is now they might have introduced some bugs where the day starts um, is only five minutes so we'll see here if after five minutes if the day is over if that is the case then we'll have to definitely do something to fix that mana potion okay let's place this one fast Okay, well that's fine. Bye bye. Bye bye, sir. No loss for me. How many potions do we have? Okay, five and one. So let's order four of these. One, two, three, four. Perfect. That's good that we don't have to redo our progress, right? I would hate to have to redo progress. <laughs> 
So I got five of those, five of those. Excellent. Okay. Making a killing off this stuff, man. There we go. Reminds me of a game called Torn. <laughs> if you haven't heard about it, it used to be called Torn City, I guess. And it's been around for years, this game. Long, long time. But there's still tons of people that play it. So if you want to check it out, just click on the link I have below. It's a referral link. And yeah, you know, you can check it out. Only check it out if you're willing to play long term, right? If you're willing to get to level 10. Otherwise, don't bother, right? Um, it's a text-based online game. It's all on the web. So I'm able to play it either at work or, or at home. Um, you know, just a short bit or for a long time. Um, it's pretty neat. It's it's an open world sandbox style game, kind of like all these other games that I play on the channel here. Uh, but it's fully web based, so that's kind of what makes it interesting. There is poker in there, and you can attack people, you can mug them. So there is a component to the game. You know, there's a co a component of criminality, of course. Why not? Because it's a major aspect of the game. And then there's other parts of the game as well, which kind of make it fun. You can kind of pursue an education route. Oh, look, it's kind of brighter. That's cool. Let's go check outside quickly. For some reason, it's, it looks like it's... Oh, hey, look. Particles from the... Yeah, look at that. Cool. That is really cool. Now, I can't wait until they do, like, uh, locations and stuff to to find and go to and maybe we can upgrade all this stuff eventually like your our place here and maybe we can build our own or I don't know it'd be kind of neat to see where they take this game how far they go as it is the game is pretty playable and sure it gets repetitive but let's find a dandy oh let's guess we should pay our tax eh it's fine and dandy by me um, yeah I don't know it's just it's, it's it's interesting right so yeah, so definitely check it out. You check out Torn if you you feel like if you feel like playing a web-based game and you're willing to get to at least level 10 to give it a shot. Now it does take an extremely long time to level. There is something called Hank's a power leveling guide if you're into that kind of stuff. But I for one you know, am not because I'm choosing to play the game long term. Just because there's some co-workers at work that play it regularly. So. There's a lot of time that's you needs to be invested into the game, so basically it's a long-term game, and I just want it clear so that way, if you do choose to go look at it, then I'll appreciate it. I appreciate any kind of people that join up and you know who who play the game, right? Regardless if you're f uh, friends with me or not in the game, just as long as you sign up and you get to level 10, so that will help me out. And yeah. <laughs> So let's see here. So it looks like the day is lasting like normal. Looks like everything is back to normal as it should. So you're deleting that save file. Look, ah, oh, bye bye, sir. You're stealing from me. <laughs> but that thing will take them out. It's no big deal. No big deal. Let's pick that up. We need to buy. Um, we need to buy potions. So let's do ten and ten. Okay, so we're moving on up. So basically after the first day we should have enough potions sold to be able to, to buy whatever we need to buy. Um, let's pick up our order here. Let's put potion out. Might be the end of the day I think coming up here. Now I'm curious what happens when we get locked outside, right? It looks like the sun is not moving. <laughs> so we don't know what time it is with the sun. I feel, I hope they add the fact that the sun will move, and then that will kind of help us to figure out what time it is in the day, right, for all this. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you for being honest. I think would have zapped you anyways, maybe. I would have let you run out with it anyhow. I like how we can chase people out in the street now. <laughs> if we have to. That's just fun. I love chasing after the people. Uh, let's see here. I'm not sure what to talk about, though. That's the other funny part, you know? In the, from, in the earlier episodes, tons to talk about. But now, it's just... It just sucks. It just sucks having to start all over. That's the, the problem. Yeah, it really bugs me. But that's what happens. Early access, right? 
because I imagine we will start another world as soon as you know, they get past all this stuff and add some new features and you save the game or save the game. You add more to it and expand it since it is early access, right? So yeah, definitely really cool, really cool. Let's see here. Just put that there. Put that there. Hello, hello, sir. Coming, buying some stuff. Let's do ten more of each. Okay, let's put it red. Perfect. This is amazing. Let's see here. Okay, perfect. Let's see what the day looks like outside. Uh, no, still got sun. I'm, I'm scared of being locked out. Like when you're outside and the doors close, that will be locked out. <laughs> oh, it's just too funny. Just too funny. And thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Let's place that. Clean up. I'm making a big mess here. Perfect. Okay, excellent. Back to a clean store. Fully stocked. Pay your taxes. Alright. Uh, we need 10 more. Oh, no, wait. We don't need 10 more of each. We need to pick up our order. There we go. Ah, now it's getting nighttime, probably, right? Yeah, now people are kind of running for some reason. That's interesting. Okay, got this. Probably last few customers of the day it's in this this part of the game. Uh, we need to pick this up, place that down. I think this one's okay. And once this closes, that's it. We'll be done for this day one uh, of this new start. We've kept the progression of our level, because why not? Um, Tomorrow we'll start kind of working on this guy and send him out and see what happens in the state that he's in. Maybe we'll just try the lower level and see what he comes back with. Maybe we can outfit him and maybe next time we'll be able to kind of have a better idea with quests. So we'll pick this stuff up and then we'll place maybe some counters or I'm going to place probably kind of like a, um, a shelf here and here probably somewhere like that. And we'll go from there. So yeah, so let's clean this up quickly here. Looks like it's gotten dirty. Uh, perfect. And I think we're at the end of this day. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, see, it's the sun's gone. It's dark out. Yeah, they need to change that. They need to have the progression more gradual. I think, kind of like in other games. Yeah, I imagine that will come. I imagine improved graphics as well of these characters. I kind of like the way they look, but then. In in a way, I kind of want them to be uh, a little bit, just a tad better, you know? You maybe make the models a little bit better. And, but, again, early access, right? So we can't really complain about the look of that yet. We can complain as soon as everything's complete. And they had their early access time. And, yeah. You know, now as, as far as the style, the way the game looks, it is pretty good. Um, yeah, it's... It could be better, of course, but I don't know. It has a certain charm. Like that's what attracted me to this game was was this this look of everything, right? And just you know, and plus this game, I just the selling game. I like markets. I like kind of selling stuff. You know, in real life I don't, but in a game environment I do because I don't know why. In a game environment, it's completely different. It has nothing to do with sales. Um, in a game environment, you you're buying objects and items because you need them. Right, in real life, people buy objects for whatever of you know, whatever deal. Like they'll go to the store and they'll want a deal on food, or they'll want a deal on whatever technology that you're buying, or you know, books or anything, right? And it's just it seems to be a real pain, right? Your real life just is a lot different than a game environment, and, which is too bad because I'd be filthy rich if the if real life kind of mimicked the game environment. <laughs> now, some people could argue that it does, but I would actually strongly disagree with that. I find real life a lot more complicated than games. I find a simple, I find a certain simplicity to games. 
And maybe that's probably why I like playing video games, because because of that simplicity. And it makes you wonder how many human eyeballs are going to be watching this as well at this point. I know that there's Lushable Echo watching, most likely. I hope he is. Um, but as far as anyone else, no idea, no idea. So if you are watching and you're a set of human eyeballs who's watching this and listening to my voice, then post up down below. <laughs> you know, definitely would like to see a comment, you know, just tell me what you think. Hey, your video sucks, man. Or, hey, man, yeah, thanks for the video. Or whatever, you know, just say, hey, man, I heard ya. <laughs> You know, I know I did that in, in another video and nobody commented, so that means one of two things. That no one's going to really hear this part of it, of our interaction. Um, and that's not anybody's fault. It's the interaction is more, I don't know, it's because it's humans, right? Like here you have these little robots coming in and buying my stuff, right? Well, humans aren't like that. They're more finicky, right? So, to be able to offer somebody a product in real life is way different. So, yeah, it's just interesting. I think the store will be closed soon. Yeah, since I see people running away now. Unless there's monsters to fight. Uh, I'm kind of curious. I want to get locked out, but then I don't. Because then how do you stop the game, right? Boom, shop is saved. Yeah, we'll have to test that one day. One day. So yeah, so here we go, folks. So the start of a brand, brand spanking new shop here, right? So hopefully you've had a good time with me. Hopefully, you know, you don't mind me starting the new world, but it looks like everything's running a lot smoother now. It looks like we were able to access the quests. And yeah, well, thank you everybody, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.